Welcome to OnQ Express Store number 101, located here in the heart of Oklahoma City at the intersection of 23rd and Santa Fe. The intersection of Oklahoma government, industry, and the downtown economic revitalization. Well, today we're able to celebrate really the leadership of state government uh, to be able to partner with public retail locations such as OnQ Express and provide to the public today CNG at a, a very reasonable price, $1.39. Uh, when we look at Mideast Turmoil, uh, we see the tremendous opportunity to be able to use a domestic product here in our vehicles in the state of Oklahoma. Chesapeake is a leader in natural gas exploration and production in our country. We're champions of natural gas because we know the economic and environmental value of this clean, abundant Oklahoma fuel. We announced a couple of years ago that we plan to convert our entire fleet of over 4,000 vehicles to run on natural gas. three phone calls a day now, um, both from the private sector and other energy companies uh, hearing about us and hearing about what Chesapeake's up to and asking, how can I get involved? What do I need to do? Uh, my fleet's small, my fleet's big, it's a personal vehicle. From the transportation side of the Senate, it's an exciting day for Oklahoma to see a clean energy source like CNG uh, be delivered now in 10 different stations and on queue is an exciting event. I think today's uh, ribbon cutting is just proof that what we've done previously with the tax credits and how we've structured things, that those are working and that we're getting uh, more CNG out to the market available to consumers and we've got numerous fleets that have uh, transitioned to CNG. It just makes sense. It's a fuel that comes from Oklahoma. Uh, I've used it on my ranch. We have our trucks converted to CNG. It's clean. It's efficient and it's cheaper. As a native Oklahoman, I continue to be amazed at the ability of our great state to rise above. Today, we celebrate a clean alternative that is affordable, abundant in supply, and of course, Oklahoman.